<laughs> well, good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My P.I. Dream. Today, I have a short episode for you. Uh, it's basically a DIY project installing some, what do they call it, swing arm wall lamps uh, for the master bedroom. This is part of one of those projects that I shipped over in a Balak buying box, and uh, I'm going to be doing that for an upgrade inside the MBR. Uh, well, anyway, let's go ahead and get today's episode started. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Let me start by saying uh, we were always going to put some kind of lamps next to our uh, bed in the master bedroom. And typically what you would do, you would have a nightstand and you would have a lamp uh, on top of the nightstand. Well, when I went back to the U.S. <laughs> when I went back to the U.S. on the last vacation, I started looking at some lamps because we couldn't find uh, the lamp that we wanted for our nightstand uh, here in the Philippines. Uh, we actually found one set but they were extremely expensive and I believe they were overpriced. They were in a specialty store. Uh, so I refused to pay that amount, uh, the amount that they were asking. Uh, so we decided to go ahead and do a little bit of uh, frugal shopping, so to say. So we did when we went back to the US. So we decided to go ahead and pick up a couple of those wall lamps and install them uh, next to our bed in the master bedroom. Uh, so that's what today's project is all about. And uh, let's go ahead and get upstairs and go ahead and get this project started. The first thing we had to start with is I had to drill some holes in the wall. I had to be real careful that I didn't drill into any of the conduit or the electrical wires that were in the wall behind it. Now luckily I had the the videos, this, this whole series of videos, and I always use that to go back and look and see where my electrical cables are. Uh, so I drilled the holes, I put the wall anchors in, and then I attached the first uh, the mounting plate. And now once the mounting plate is secured, uh, you can mount your lamp assembly on that wall mounting plate. Uh, very easy, just three screws, uh, tighten them up, uh, and then it's, that, that part is installed. Next thing, just fitting the uh, lampshade to make sure everything looks right and it is in place. And basically uh, doing the same to the to the other side. Now, something I I, I want to mention is if you are measuring where the placement of your your uh, lamp is going to be, the average height for the center of the the wall lamp plate is usually about five foot, about sixty inches. Now. I dropped it down, oh, about two more, two inches from that. It just looked right to me. Uh, so anything that you like is the best uh, is best for you. But as a standard, just remember the the key number is 60 inches or five feet. Uh, so I went ahead and installed it on the left side as well. And since these outlets hadn't been tested in a while, I decided to go ahead and plug them in and test everything. Uh, just to make sure that my electrician had properly uh, installed the switched outlet from the wall. Uh, so the next thing to do is we need to, we need to hide these ugly cords. So what I did uh, is I went ahead and used the hardware that came with the lamp. It's, very, it's a nice, it comes with everything that you need. Uh, so there's a channel that you mount to the wall. Uh, this uh, galvanized channel that goes on the wall what it will do is it'll be a channel that you run your uh, cord your electrical cord in then there will be another channel that goes on the outside of the channel and it's a finished channel uh, which is the same color as the as the um, wall lamp itself so it makes for a nice clean uh, finished look once it's all completed All right, installation complete, and I'm happy. I like the lamps inside. I think they're gonna add a lot to the evening time for both the ambience and if we wanna sit in bed and read a book. Uh, it's gonna be very nice. Uh, also, just to have a little bit of light in if we watch television 
or we just want to have a chat here inside of the master bedroom. So anyway, that's complete. A couple of tips that I want to talk to you about. You notice there's channel. See the channel that goes down? And that channel hides uh, the electrical cable, the unsightly electrical cable. Uh, and the channel itself doesn't look bad. It's the same color as the, the back plate that goes uh, underneath the lamp. Uh, the wall mount. So if you have the foresight and you know that you want to install these kind of lamps inside your house when you're doing your build what you can do is you can have your electrician do the rough end directly behind it and the, the wire can actually go down into the electrical lot that he can make the connection for you there as well and then you won't see anything you won't see the channel you won't see any wires and it'll be a very clean installation now i know what's going to happen i know there's going to be people asking about these lamps right here where did you get it how much does it cost and all what i'll do is i'll leave a link in the description block in today's episode and i believe the name of the company is franklin ironworks uh that's the people who make this hand forged by authentic artisans uh, well, anyway, like I said, I will put the link in today's episode down in the description block if you're interested in these type of uh, wall lamps. Oh, well, that's it for this project right here. I think Ness will be happy. Uh, I hope she'll be happy. I know she'll be happy. She'll like this. So anyway, let me go on to my next project after I grab some lunch. Well, I got one more project done today. Uh, then I had to run down to the barangay uh, to pick up some uh, some dog food. The dogs were out of dog food. So I stopped down by Roy and Michelle. And actually, Roy was working today. Uh, every time we've gone down to the store, it's always Michelle that's working. But I was glad I caught up with Roy. And Roy said uh, he's anxious to come out to the house here. And he's ready to enjoy movie night once we, <laughs> once we get uh, the everything set up down inside the basement. But the one project that I did finish today, let me show you real quick. I don't know if you remember, uh, do you remember back in the US, I made that integrated Alexa slash uh, the pile amp for the yard speakers, but I made another device that had a CCTV camera built into it as well. What I did was I installed that in the Bahe Kubo today, and here's what it looks like. Now what this does, what this does here, it's dark outside. It's uh, I gotta close out today's video because it's so dark. Uh, what this does, it allows me to be able to control um, uh, music from right here instead of going to the house or having my phone out and connecting through the Alexa device. I could do it right here. Plus, if we have guests in we here inside the Kubo and we're in-house and we wanna use it as an intercom, we can make this like an intercom and speak to the people out here as well. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and try it out. Alexa. Play NPR news on yard speakers. Here's NPR news now from TuneIn. Live from NPR news in Washington, I'm Nora Rob. So you see that works just fine. And I can play music. Uh, use it like an intercom. Okay, I know that's geeky, but uh, I'm just kind of a geeky guy. Uh, and it's getting real dark. I don't know if you can see the moon over my shoulder right there. Well, let me go ahead and get this video uh, edited, uploaded, and out to you. Well, if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. Please share. And if you haven't subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed and you'll be notified the next time I upload a new video. So until such time, You have a wonderful and blessed day. If you enjoy
enjoyed today's episode and you would like to see more just like these, just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects, how to, or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building, you'll find answers there as well.